abuse, discrimination, inequality, injustice. These harsh terms describe nothing with greater accuracy than the predatory behaviour faced by so many, too many of Australia's youth braving the workforce, often for their first time. It is well known that first impressions easily make a lasting impact on our perceptions of experiences. And for a nation of and by its working class, we as a community must not let the experience of, according to Australia unions, our most vulnerable workers, that being young people, be one of harassment, bullying and exploitative behaviour. A monstrous 74% of Australia's youth reported some form of exploitative experience in the workplace in a study conducted by Griffith University. This exploitative behaviour includes, but is not limited to, economic, verbal, sexual and physical abuse. These experiences are also specific to the community we call home, none other than the Great Ballarat where 10% of youth in 2021 reported insecure work in a Ballarat Youth Services Youth Survey. We believe that the great Ballarat can do better and can become greater. I am proud to be part of a team passionate about doing more to make Ballarat greater, doing more to combat workplace exploitation for our community's valuable youth. Whilst we may not have the time or resources to end exploitation in and of itself, what we can do, is, what we will do, is provide a bridge between young people and those with the capability to support their diverse needs. Unions are a source of hope for vulnerable workers. According to the ABS, union members earn an average of 38% more than non-members. This is known as the union wage premium and entails just a snippet of the enormous increase to security and safety unions can provide. Something our team can provide is a link, a bridge, accessible promotion of safety through unions, introducing the bridge project, a simple and achievable idea to put a business card with a QR code linking to hope and safety of Australia unions and the Fair Work Commission in the pockets of Ballarat's youth. This beacon of hope would achieve awareness and accessibility to a service expertly designed to combat and defeat predatory behaviour in the workplace, giving Ballarat's young workers a positive experience and perception of our hometown's essential workforce. Our project benefits those in our community who are most at risk of exploitation in the workplace. Around Ballarat in 2016, there were 3,300 people in the labour force between the ages of 15 and 19. 14% were full-time and 62% were part-time. In our community, many first-time employees have little to no knowledge on their workplace rights. Think about those who have nowhere to go. Think about how many could benefit from this card. Think about the impact we can have. This card can and will help the people around us like our friends, family and workmates. Do you really want to skip out on this opportunity of helping hundreds? There are young people out there who are struggling, bleeding on the account of unsafe and discriminative workplaces they are expected to be in. If there was ever a bridge to help the youth of Ballarat in their struggle, it is what we propose to you now. It is outrageous that the youth go to work to do good for our society to then be confronted by the indignity and scandal of unsafe, exploitive workplaces. It is a part of your responsibility as leaders of our city to ensure that the youth of Ballarat are working in a safe environment because we know, for if we didn't, we wouldn't be standing here today, that the employers keeping these workers unsafe will do nothing to help. I urge you all to step up to the plate step into the shoes of the young people experiencing this and build a bridge for our youth. Thank you.